Hey there! In this lesson, we will be measuring objects using rulers. Remember that a ruler has two different measurements on it. One side is for measuring in inches, which is represented by the abbreviation IN on the ruler. The other side is for measuring in centimeters, which is represented by the abbreviation CM on the ruler. Let's practice using inches first by helping out our friend, Nora. Nora plans to make some clothes for her doll. For that, she needs to cut some fabric into certain lengths. Let's help Nora out by completing this checklist. First, we need an eight inch piece of pink fabric for the skirt. Using the inch side of the ruler, let's measure 8 inches by placing the zero marker at the left edge. Find the 8 inch marker and cut the piece. That's a check on Nora's checklist. Next, for the ribbons she'd like to sew on the skirt, we need 2 inches of fabric. Let's use the ruler again to measure two inches and cut the fabric. Another check on our checklist. Now we need a five inch piece of fabric for the blouse. Back to the ruler. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five inches. And cut the fabric. Awesome. Another check on the list, which leaves us with only one more piece of fabric. Nora also wants to sew a scarf for the doll, and for that, she needs 10 inches of fabric. Let's measure that using the ruler, and then cut the fabric one last time. There we go. Now Nora has all the fabric she needs for sewing. Thanks for helping her. Let's practice using the centimeter side of the ruler. The unit changed, but it works the same as the inch ruler. How long is this comb in centimeters? For an accurate measurement, place the zero marker across the left edge of the comb. The right edge is across the number 10. So it looks like the comb measures 10 centimeters. How long is this phone in centimeters? Again, place the ruler properly and we get 13 centimeters. How long is this letter in centimeters? Let's properly place the ruler and check the number across the right edge. Looks like this letter measures 11 centimeters. Nice work. I hope this has helped you on measuring objects using a ruler. See you again soon. Are you looking for more fun ways to learn math? Check out Bottle Learning and access thousands of math skills all through a fun 3D game. Just visit BottleLearning.com and sign up today.